girl from the video My worth is not determined by the price of my clothes No matter what I'm wearing, I will always be just spent the last like 30 minutes taking some photos for my mom's African business it's called Leoke accessories you guys check her out on Instagram and um, yeah you know I'm my own cameraman so I set up shop you know here in this park the place is gorgeous y'all like you can see the lake I don't know if you guys can see that waterfall behind me I mean just look at the scenery it's literally stunning like ah, oh my gosh like, I will give y'all like a tour but I mean it would take like all day but, and I'm gonna be back like that's like no question but definitely took some really good photos I think they came out pretty good um, I have a couple more photos to take today so I kind of want to get out of the like heat before like you know like my hair starts to fall and it's already starting to fall but you know just so like I it won't get too before it starts getting too sweaty and everything so but yeah so it was really really fun out here no one's out here so it's super peaceful if you guys live near the like Houston area this is a great park to come to like this is wow this is gorgeous seriously also y'all I just want to point out that the African necklace came out to play today okay it's been a minute since I worn this necklace my sister got it for me for Christmas and it's been a minute since I've been able to rock it but it, it, it went good with the fit today my abs ain't been popping, I ain't been in the gym, but that's gonna change too, okay? Oh yeah. But no, um, yeah, love this necklace. I don't know why I just did that erratic behavior. Like guys, I mean, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, cause like that's really me. But um, yeah, I'm like, something's wrong up here. But yeah, okay now. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm back at the park from a new view. Now I'm on like the upper view. Yeah, I just, I had to come back. Cause this place is just it. And so I took some more pictures, um, Ratchet Revelation. So my friend Melissa Knight, I'm sure that you guys have seen her in like the August vlog, but you know, if in case, you know, you don't remember, Melissa is, she's just an entrepreneur extraordinaire, but she also is an author. She wrote a book for millennials called Ratchet Revelations. And it's just basically about, you know, being in the word, being of Christ, but you know, still living of this world and, you know, um, knowing how to balance, enjoying things that you like, like music and everyday culture and merging it in with your love for Christ. And so it's amazing. It's an amazing book and she has a lot of gear. And so I'm modeling it today with my little skirt. It was, I cropped it, but you know, uh, the crop fell like that I had, I had a rubber band and it fell or whatever but yeah those pictures came out super cute um, and yeah I love supporting not only black women but I love supporting young black women doing amazing things for our community and showing that we're more than what society paints us out to be that we're actually intellectuals and that we care about our society and that we're contributing to it and so this is my way to support her and you guys should support her too I'll put her at so you guys can go and check her out and yes Ratchet right Revelation! Eh. Okay, so listen, I didn't gel my hair down. So y'all don't, y'all I know, I know y'all see my little my little beady bees on the side. Listen, don't don't come for me, okay? I didn't gel my hair down. I was running a little light. Oh, okay, whatever, okay. Like I did it with the other wig, but with this one I was just like, okay, whatever, let me just slap this on. But it's okay because you can't see it from the pictures. And as long as the pictures come out good, it's all they matter. Okay, that's all they matter. It's all they matter. Okay. Oh. Look, this is where I went to high school. Sorry, my things in the way. OMG, Cypress Creek High School. Ah, CC. Wow. Yeah. Sounded better in high school. He's opening his gifts. This one's from Amanda. Uh, oh. Put it back in her account. <laughs> need to put it back in her bank account. How much is need... it? Fifty nine dollars. <laughs> yeah. No, it's sixty because the girl wouldn't separate it for her. <laughs> <laughs> it's sixty. So that's for fifty nine or fifty eight. So your birthday. Let me just say I love you. How do you disappoint me? Stop your food. 
been a father provider. And the husband that God called you to be. Even when you're mad, you extend grace and forgiveness. Even when you're, you're on your last, you still give half. And even when it seems impossible, you always, always make a way. Thank you for being you. And for seven three five days. Two weeks a week, a year. We are the epitome of what I want, my future husband. And sons to him like, love you. And your birthday is a good chance to thank you for all the wonderful things. To do all year. And most important, it's a good time to celebrate the wonderful man you are. Oh, happy birthday, Daddy. Okay, y'all. Let me tell you how you know your dad's a real one. When he gives you the card to go and get gas. And not only get gas, but to fill up the tank, baby. To fill up the tank. That's how you know your daddy is a real one. All right? Wow. On his birthday. Wow. I wish he'd let me get my nails done too, man. But listen, gas is, I would appreciate that a whole lot more. Okay. Uh, so we're doing apartment touring. And this is probably our sixth property that we've gone to. I'm with Amber. Hey, Amber. Guys. So she's pretty much, you know, shadowing, getting her tips. But yeah, we're in the Midtown area today. And this apartment is super, super cute. Let me show you guys. the guest they usually put the stand-up shower in the master so this must be the guest room if i'm mistaken but yeah like this place is super super cute this is in the midtown area it's a very very popular area to live in houston for those that aren't familiar with the houston area and it's really really reasonably priced so this place is a way out and so many other places we've gone to so many already and we're gonna go to like maybe three or four more and then call it so the life of an up-and-coming real estate agent We've literally been waiting on Elion for the past, I don't even know how many hours. I'm vlogging now. Yeah, it's been a while. Elion. We've been literally waiting on Elion to come downstairs. I mean, you would think. Mind you, she taught us how to wear wigs, but it's taken her 16 years to change this wig. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yes, come on. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay. Okay. Chelsea and it was Brenda, Lake I just know Linda was sad. It was Amber said? Nope. Oh. It's like how was it in Lil Wayne song? <laughs> wait, wait, what Lil Wayne song? I don't know. But I was in one. Because it wasn't. It, wasn't. it was. I'm about to look it up. Don't look it up because the DMX but the DMX challenge was kinda short lived. It was. It, and it was a really good challenge. I like the one where Beyonce did it. Beyonce it like, did the DMX It wasn't her, it was like a whole bunch of Beyonce. Oh, okay, okay. Cause she be having the wigs, baby. She do. Oh. Am I gonna something? Hey. Hey. Say. I don't wanna talk. Meet me at the bank, show me what you really about. Put some respect on my team. I'm a 1501 queen. He know what's very expensive. Wow, well, we're ratchet, guys. It's fine. I, she's ratchet too, baby. Because, baby, let some Hezekiah walk in a remix. Come on. <gasps> she ready to play. <laughs> she ready to play. Okay, guys. So, we just left. We just left the 4D screening for It's Chapter 2. Didn't even see Chapter 1, but I saw Chapter 2. Doesn't matter. And that was like, wow. At first, it was. Look at this. What? Oh, do we get balloons? Thank you. <laughs> we got a balloon. Oh, who does? Thank you. Guys, 
Yeah. What did y'all think of the movie? <laughs> this one started crying. I, you guys, it's a super emotional movie. It's really good though. I suggest you guys go see it. And I'm Fortnite. sore. Fortnite. I'm sore. My body hurts. Like, <laughs> it honestly was really, really good. Will I see part one? No. I mean, <laughs> you have to see it. No, I'm not. The two was enough. I've never experienced anything 4D before. A 3D really to me doesn't even make a difference. But 4D is it. 3D makes my head hurt. <laughs> yeah. 3D? 3D with the glasses? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This like, made my head 4D is it, though. Sore. Yeah. <laughs> This was it. This was a great experience. Thank you, Regal Movies, for inviting me. I truly appreciated it. Thank you. Okay, guys. So we are in Starbucks. It's your girl. You know, <laughs> the one and only. The one and only. You guys need to follow her on Instagram, follow her YouTube, follow all of that. Because she's about to blow up. But no. But seriously, we're here taking pictures. I feel like for the past three days, all I've been doing is taking photos and going to places. But... <laughs> No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm Linda. I'm Linda. I'm over here. I'm life on lock, trying to make life on lock something kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> something kind of cool, you know? So, but yeah, we're taking photos um, from, let me show you guys. So I got a watch and a pair of sunglasses from Movement. I'm sure you guys have seen their brand before. And so, my road dog, she gonna help me take some photos. I'm gonna take some photos of her. And then we're gonna continue talking about boys, you know, talking about life, talking about law, talking about real estate, all the things that we care about. <laughs> no, <laughs> things we care about. <laughs> things we care about. So yeah. So okay, y'all. So we know lie. We tried to finesse some free food from this from this Cajun grill. It didn't quite work, but they were very nice. They said some very very nice things about us. They, they said we're very beautiful and all that stuff, which which which, which we appreciate it. Much would have appreciated the finessing food. this plate, but it's cool. This I mean, food, it was a whole ten dollars. That we that we really you know. I ain't gonna say we don't have it, but we don't <laughs> have it. <laughs> we don't have it. Lying. We don't I'm have it. Listen, lying. post post law school life is tough. It's, it's real. Life. We'll have to okay. do a whole separate video about that. It's tough. But we're about to eat this, and we're we're gonna show y'all. It's really old dude. Um, you know when when, when y'all go to the mall and you got a little sample. You should get him on camera. I'm gonna get him on camera because he he finessed he finessed us. That's why we ended up in that line buying food. Cajun, literally. Cajun. Cajun. And, and and we're and we're trying to go to Cabo soon. We don't need the car. Don't need it. Don't need the car. Don't. Don't. I don't. We're sharing a plate, you know, to try and keep it cute or whatever. And boy, it's a lot. I think she's gonna have the what is this called again? I forgot. Um, Pat, Pat? Ain't I forgot? She gonna have that. I'm, a, I, you know, I'm a rice person. And then this, y'all, this is what really hit. This is why we're in this position. This meat right here. That meat is the truth, honestly. Oh dang. Okay, that meat is the truth. That's the reason why we're in this position right now. The meat. The meat. The meat. The meat. The meat. The meat. The this meat. The meat. Don't get inappropriate. My girls at from the front to back. How that you feeling nice? Who are you to call myself? Let the record show. What's the date today? Let the record show that at 721 on September 5th, she's about to get married in about a year. Like this time, se September 5th, 2020, we're gonna be talking about her wedding. Because <laughs> she just sat here and, and went through, you know, told me some stories and I'm just like, wow. You wanna teach classes? What, what, what? What was the story? <laughs> Tell the people. What was the story that I told you? What, is, what, what, what was the lesson that you learned? The lesson that I learned was, as young women, and this, this is actually something that we need to discuss. As young women, <laughs> when you are talking to a gentleman or when you are interested in a gentleman, you need to ask yourself, okay, what are the things, what can you provide me as far as stability? Because when you think about what she brings to the table, she has her own business, she has her law degree, she is licensed, she is, she's all these amazing things, 
And not only that, she's a woman of faith. So when you are coming to presenting yourself to her and saying that you want to be with her, what do you bring to the table? And you have to ask yourself when you're talking to a man, remember what you bring to the table. You are beautiful. You are educated. You are smart. You are creative. You are a woman who knows your worth. You do not need to settle for a man that does not give you that and more in return. Period. Pull. Good morning. Turn that down. It is Saturday, September 7th, and I am on my way to Axelrad for an event. Um, Axelrad is a cute little place in Houston near downtown, and um, it's an influencer event, um, blogger event, entrepreneurs, just a bunch of women doing great things in the city of Houston coming together to network and to just, you know, collab and um, join forces. And so I was really, really honored to be invited, and I'm on my way there. So, got all glammed up. You can't really see my fit, but it's this really pink jumpsuit that um, I got from Flawless Fashions. You guys should check them out. And so, yeah, so I am super, super pumped for this. I'm really, really excited. A little late, but what else is new with Linda? <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. accomplishing this year. I'm looking tell me. forward to finishing more of my classes. Yes, ma'am. And just living a healthy, happy life. And continuing to be a baddie. Yes. Listen. Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you about my friend, okay? With no makeup, she looks just like this. She's I mean not just like this, <laughs> but <laughs> just like that. Happy birthday summer. I lost my voice literally celebrating you. I wish you many more years of success and accomplishments. Aww. Happy birthday, baby. I'm so glad I flew in from Florida. I love you to the ends of the earth, and I hope 26 is everything you hoped it would be. Happy birthday, Summer. I love you so much. I hope all your wishes and dreams come true. So, Summer, your baby is 26. How do you feel? Just, how has Summer just been for you as a daughter? Um, summer has just been a joy to Aww. raise. Um, she has always been the type of child that's headstrong, uh, wanting to be independent. Uh, but I, you know, and, and she's always been the type of child that wants to go her own way, you know, yeah. regardless as to how her parents feel. <laughs> but um, I am so proud of Summer. She, uh, she has really blossomed into uh, an amazing young woman. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I just wish her many, many more years, many, many more birthdays. Yeah. Hey guys, 
Hey guys, so welcome back to our, uh, to our YouTube channel. I'm actually here with Linda. So Linda, tell us about yourself. Okay, you well, oh my gosh. Well, I'm here with the amazing, super rich, super fabulous, super beautiful. I mean, it's just literally, I'm, a, I'm blessed to be in his presence, to be honest. Actually, we're here to celebrate our friend Summer's yes. birthday party. Sam so. and Summer have been... <laughs> You and Summer have been friends for about five years now. Wow, it's been, it's been pretty fun. We went for last year, we went to Dallas for Summer's birthday, and he was nice enough to host us in his beautiful home. And now he's over here just killing the game. I actually want to move to Houston now with you guys. It's and so this is awesome. our, our newest lawyer, okay? She's about to pass the California bar. Damn Let him know. She's about to cast, she's about to pass the California bar. And I'm just with a bunch of just positivity here. Okay. <laughs> Do y'all want to see how the rich lives? Okay. Let me show you how my friend is living. Let me let me show you his car. Okay. Like wow. Come on, red leather seats. Come on, sunroof. Like, wow. Okay. Now you know with my little Hansa. I'm grateful, but we not riding like this. Look, come, come tell the people. This is what it looks like to have money. Okay. Okay, it's all her. She's, no, she's a sugar mama here. Nah. No, <laughs> not I wish. <laughs> Seriously, no, we are at H E Bizzle, where here everything is what? Better. Oh, that, took, that took a little too long. <laughs> I was like, Wait, it took I... a little too long. We're about to get, yo, you know what we're about to get? Tell the people what we're about to get, bro. Some fun news. And some sun kiss. I know. Don't be in the comments like myself. We don't need no soda. <laughs> we know we don't need soda, okay? But sometimes, literally, because yesterday we were we, we were with um, our other friend uh, mm -hmm. Davis, and we were like, wow, like, like Africans, it's something about okay, come on, focus, camera. It's something about sun kiss and just or Fanta, even orange Fanta. It's just orange soda. It's orange soda. Y'all know Kenan and Kel? Who loves orange soda? <laughs> I love orange soda. <laughs> tasting event it's very nice and bougie you know you know it was cool you know yeah. tried a lot of nice organic fresh from Austria fresh from Italy fresh from Venice fresh from all these different places and the wines were great so definitely I'll try and um, link all the all my favorites from that were tried and yeah Definitely down for another wine tasting. I'm feeling a little spicy. You can't really tell. I think I'm one of those people that wine makes me go down. I'm not one of those people that like, you know, gets all lit. Like I think my sister, she'll get lit after a glass of wine. And I think I just go like, I'm over it. So. Hey y'all. Just left an interview. <laughs> and um. You know, it's just uh. Um, Oh you're such a baby. <laughs> Just, <you know. 
Y'all, it's been hard. And, um, it's been hard. I've been looking for a job and trying to just get things together. And it's just, I don't know, it's just not. I don't know, you know, you always want to leave an interview feeling, um, like, confident, and just feeling, you know, and I just don't feel like that, and I'm just so tired of being told no, you know, but, um, you know, I called my dad, and, um, I don't know, he made me feel a little better, so, I guess, uh, So I'm just gonna get some gas because my tank's almost out and I'm just gonna try and move on from this, you know, like move on to the next. I don't mean to be like emotional crybaby. I'd really be bawling if I didn't have makeup on. <laughs> but it's just, you know, sometimes you just feel so like, overwhelmed with life. And so I just want to get on here as raw as I can to tell y'all that, you know, I know maybe going through it, it's going to be good. And, you know, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. So, yeah, I'm going to go try and freshen up and get ready because I have to go help. Kim, you guys know how I always talk about Kim. I have to go help her um, do some legal work, but um, yeah. Whew. All right, let's go. Hello, Life on Walkers. I don't know what she calls um people subscribe to her, but you know, it's Linda's sister here. I know you're used to seeing her on here, but this will be a different type of vlog um, because I am throwing her a surprise party um, and she knows nothing about it. Um, so anyone that knows Linda knows that she always does something big for her birthday. So um, this is actually from her birthday last year. I just noticed this in the background. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so um, she always does something big for her birthday, but this year I asked her what she's doing and she said she's not doing anything, which is really weird. It's not, not like my sister at all. So like the wonderful little sister that I am, <laughs> I <laughs> decided to create a group chat with her friends and plan a surprise party for her. Um, she's never had a surprise party in her life and you know I, I know it's on her bucket list she said it before like years ago so I was like oh this is the perfect opportunity um, so we got the place um, today's September 6th the party's on the 21st and today's the day that invites go out so pray for us I'm just hoping nobody ruins it and I just want to document the process so that she can see the video at the end and yeah surprise surprise Okay, so, oh, let me turn this off. I had to come out here to record because she is in the house right now, so, and I need to go to class anyway. But, huh, we had a little hiccup <laughs> a few days ago. So, today is the 11th, and, you know, like I said, the invites went out on the 6th. This is so dangerous. Don't do this at home. I'm just trying to get out of this spot so she doesn't see me. Um, yeah invites went out on the 6th and so a few days ago um, one of her best friends called me on the phone uh, saying that you know Linda as nosy as she is was scrolling through her pictures and you know when you show one person one photo and they're not supposed to keep scrolling well Linda did and she was uh she said that she may have seen the invite but she's not sure so yeah there <laughs> but the surprise is not yet ruined you know um, we just changed the whole plan around and we hope that it works so basically we have two surprises rather than one but one thing I will say uh, if anyone's ever staying in Houston I swear on everything this is the best Airbnb host I've ever had in my life I'm gonna drop her information that is a deserving plug <laughs> like what first of all 
We first had just the top apartment of the duplex. She gave us the entire duplex at a discounted price. She's allowing us to have the surprise party there in the first place with the loud music, all of that. Giving us ideas, everything. Like, she is a heaven sent. Because the other Airbnbs, crazy. I tried to get one Airbnb and then I told them about the surprise party. Sorry, there's a trash man behind me. I told them about the surprise party. She tried to upcharge me $400 just for that one day because of the surprise party. Which, I get it. You're running a business, but ma'am, $400 for one day, one Saturday, for a party that's six hours. And wow, and it's a day party too. It's like no damage, no nothing. It's, we're trying to make it real cute, classy. But you know, it's all good. Because when one door closes, God opens another one, okay? So I'm gonna put her information in here because she's a real one. Shout out to you, Diamond and Anissa. Okay, so one week until well not really one week the party's on saturday today's monday um so another little update uh, linda told sharice which is her best friend um that she has a meeting at 11 which is the day of the party or has a meeting at 11 on the day of the party and 11 is when we were supposed to do the surprise brunch so what we did was we switched it around yet again now everyone's just gonna be at the house we're not gonna do a brunch and we're gonna try and find a way to get her to the house after this meeting of hers fingers crossed i hope this works because child i am tired <laughs> okay so we got oh wow my face looks like a moon <laughs> wow um we got like 90 percent of everything that we need um just went and got the alcohol to go into the um what is it called the margaritas the food is coming tomorrow about to finally go check into the oh it's flooding right here about to go check into the um airbnb where we're hosting the party so that we can set up um houston just went through a major flood yesterday so, but it's not supposed to rain tomorrow. It's raining a little bit right now and it's still flooding in some areas, but we're still gonna have it. Um, so, just uh, fingers crossed yet again. Yeah, we are so close to the finish line, so we just gotta push through. Um, even though it's still flooding in some areas, by tomorrow, everything should be good. There's only 20% chance of rain tomorrow, so we're just hoping everything's good. About to go meet up with Tristan so that we can put the stuff down in the Airbnb. So, yeah. First of all, I just had to get how cute. Oh, it's not even focusing, but how cute my mom looks this morning. I know this is Linda's birthday vlog, but <laughs> y'all will be okay. This is the creator, the creator of Life on Lock, essentially. <laughs> Model walk, yes. Work it, yes. <laughs> Bye, Bobby. Love you. <laughs> so my dumb behind forgot my charger for my camera. So awkward. But I just have to show the preparation. So we got the bread. How do I? Okay, so we got the bread, and we're gonna place it. It's gonna look way better than this. <laughs> And then the drinks, nice little mimosa glasses, very, very cute and classy. The food is on its way, mom and dad cooked and catered like the best parents they are. So we're on the way. So look crazy, but the party starts in how many hours? About three now, about three hours. We got the drinks mixed. 
Tristan just walked in the door. <laughs> Let's go see what Pauletta's doing. You should see upstairs. Pauletta doesn't have her wig on, but wow. she's doing her makeup. Is it? <laughs> Wait, Tristan. What's up? So, what are we doing right now? Um, <laughs> well, Amanda's lit. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not yelling. I'm actually talking in normal volume. They're just, their ears are quiet. They're sensitive, I guess. Yeah, they have sensitive ears. I'm actually, I'm talking in a normal volume. I'm not lit at all. I have no, I've had no alcohol whatsoever. Just, I've just been doing my makeup. She's a straight face, so I'm proud of her. <laughs> Like, she's gonna do work in the courtroom. She's gonna, she's, gonna, she's gonna do some work. Okay, so the best dad ever came and brought the food. I'm vlogging. <laughs> dad brought all the food. Hey, Pauletta, dad, my dad is here. Yeah, so he came and brought all the food. For us. Oh, you brought rolls? They bought some yesterday too, so they're gonna have a lot of bread. You see, so we cooked. Oh, Linda, here's another surprise. <laughs> here's another surprise. We aim to make you cry. So Alfred, how long did it take you to get <laughs> how long did it take you to get here? Three hours away. Three hours. And he brought music. Wow. <laughs> Just know you owe everybody back. Your the entire planning committee. Yeah. I just work here. <laughs> Happy I don't have a dress on but I promise I do I promise <laughs> I promise I have clothes on okay so I am here at Royal Retreat Nail Spa okay and I just got my nails done ah, you, you see the drip you see it I wanted something like super cute but also something that was like you know because I'm like still you know in the process of like interviewing and like I still have to be professional and like go to meetings and things like that and I'm not trying to look all crazy and all 
it's hot y'all need to turn on the air but you know i'm not trying to look all you know like all over the place so i wanted something that was like still cute but still a little like all right girl so they had the little white tips. I don't know if you guys could see that. But yeah, so I am really getting ready for my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. I will be a whole 26 years old. Ask me how I feel about that. I mean, great. Like after this weekend and that surprise party that my sister threw for me and all my friends threw is just... I just, I'm literally like on cloud nine. Like I can't believe that I have people like this in my life. I can't believe that God surrounded me with so many people that love me like that. That's spending bread on me like that. Like it's crazy. I, I just, I like can't fathom it. I'm not worthy of it. I don't deserve it, but I'm just so grateful. And yeah, wow, I could talk about that all day. But now I'm about to go meet up with um, my friends and we're about to chit chat Kiki, you know, and then talk about nails and, you know, and talk about hair, talk about everything, talk about tomorrow. I have a job interview tomorrow. So it's going to be a busy day and a wine tasting. Job interview, wine tasting. Um, and then please believe I'm going to get some seafood and watch Grey's Anatomy. Best believe that's how I'm going to be celebrating the actual day of my birthday. Make no mistake. Hey guys. It's my birthday. <laughs> hey guys, it's my birthday. I obviously didn't wear this to my interview. I redid my birthday pics. I know, extra, but I am i wasn't gonna not have birthday pictures and I wasn't gonna like settle for like an old picture and I'm like using it as a birthday. So I just re, Elian did my hair and I re-put the dress on and I just took pictures, so it's fine. But yeah, the interview went really well. I know last time I was like crying like a seven year old. But now, this one went well. We'll see if I get hired, if I come on here screaming like a crazy person, but not like I always come on here screaming, the other kind of scream, like, oh my God! <laughs> That's how you know, that was awkward, sorry. But yeah, so, next thing, I'm about to go and get ready for the wine tasting. Now, this wine tasting, um, I was like, okay, let me tell you how I was taking things for granted. So I'm like, okay, it's, yeah, it's on Davis Street or whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll be there, whatever. Because I just want to drink some wine on my birthday. But literally, I tell people, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I got to go here tonight. And everyone's like, I've been wanting to try that. Oh, my God. I've been wanting to go to that place. Like, I just got off the phone with my last sister, and she just said the same thing. And I was like, really? So this place is kind of popping. Okay. So, about to go to Davis Street. I'm about to go change. So stay tuned for that footage. Y'all see my nails still? All right, it's hump day, and here's my little Linda tidbit for you, okay? You may be having a rough morning, and I get it. You know, you may, listen, car won't start, boyfriend's tripping, or you may just be as broken, as tired as I am, and I get it, okay? I get it. But, the sun is shining, look at the, look at the glisten, look at the glow, okay? And you're alive, so you already went in in that regard. So get up and get going. Okay, is it done? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Shit! He popped the board. Yo. What? Don't be offended. This is all my opinion. Ain't nothing that I'm saying, law. This is a true confession of a life learned lesson. I was sent here to share with y'all. So get in where you fit and go on and shine. Clear your mind. Now's the time. Put your salt on the shelf. Go on and love yourself. Cause everything's gonna be alright. 